Welcome back, everybody. I am Denver Gamer. And today, I'm going to show you how to set up the Sega channel on your PC and emulate different menus that a guy named Billy Time Games has put together. I'm also going to show you how to set up kind of like a custom broadcast that he's made with 12 different months, and it will read the month on your computer and broadcast, or I guess it's an online service, uh, give you that month, that set of games and a custom menu, just like it used to be. Back in the 90s, I'm not sure how authentic the menus look compared to back then, but this is probably the best way to emulate the Sega channel and make it feel like it did back in the 90s. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do this. Here is Billy Time Games, his complete Sega channel revival collection. Okay. Now, this is going to have a ton of stuff in it. I'm on a Windows computer. I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows. But there's Linux, Android, Raspberry Pi, 3, 4, 0. Lots of options here. But I don't have all those options. So I'm going to show you how to do it on a PC. Okay. You'll go over here and download the files as a package. And if you want to peek in there and kind of see what is in there, you can go through, through that little show all button. Whoops, right there, okay? For this video, you're gonna need a little basic understanding of RetroArch. If you don't, here is a beginner's tutorial up here in this info card, and um, I'll find you the best one that I can find so uh, you can familiarize yourself with, with RetroArch, okay? But I have already downloaded the zip file and unzipped it, and here's what you'll wind up with, okay? <clears throat> It's going to be kind of jumbled around. It's got kind of got a lot of stuff just thrown in here. But here's the Raspberry Pi Zero stuff, Raspberry Pi 3 and 4. What you'll really need is these two, which is the uh, Sega Channel Revival, if you're doing this on PC. And the launcher is what we're going to do to simulate the actual service later on. But first, I just want to get you uh, playing the thing, okay? If you look in here, I'm going to pull up uh, WinRAR. That's what I use. And you're going to see he's got 12 months of different uh, sets he did for the Sega channel. Each one has a different set of games, different looking menus, themed for like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, stuff like that. And then you'll have uh, some miscellaneous ones. My favorite one I'm going to be showcasing to you is this version two. That's my favorite set of games and 90s look to the channel. And here is the core. This is going to be a set of cores. And it'll be Android, Linux, uh, Raspberry Pi, and Windows, and we'll be using the Windows Core. But if you're a Windows user, I have already put together a nice, neat package for you. I've renamed all the file names, so they correspond January, February, March, April, all the way down to December. That is uh, the entire year of 94 he did. I have other versions here, and I renamed those to, to be a little more um, comprehensive, I guess you'd say. And here is the core we'll be using. This is going to be important because you need a custom core for RetroArch. You can't just use the one that you can download, okay? And we'll get to this and how this will work. This is the um, simulation of the broadcast, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. We are going to open RetroArch. And we're going to load the content here. And let's go into 94 and let's use one of these example. January 94 open. And the Genesis Plus GX Core is the one you'll be using. And what you're going to see here is ROM size exceeds the permitted value. So here's what we're going to do. Navigate to the place where RetroArch is installed on your computer. And for the broadcasting stuff later, the online service emulation, you're probably going to want to use a RetroArch installer instead of having a portable version uh, of RetroArch, like on a, on a drive or something like that. Otherwise, you're going to have to update the bat file. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's see here. Um, stay with me. There we go. So this is... RetroArch inside my C drive and right here in cores, I'm going to open that up and I'm going to go to the core that they provide and you'll see that is the exact same name. You know, copy this over. I'm actually going to copy it. It's asking me to move it. 
and replace the file in the destination. There we go. We will exit out of these. We'll go back here. Load content. And let's try that again. There we go. Check that out. Now check this out. He's gonna have all these custom little menus. Um, I'm not sure how authentic these are to the original, but you go in here and you can play the various games. Uh, there's Info Pit. Uh, I'm not sure, Express Games, I don't know what that is. News Link, Game Guide, he's kind of added a lot of stuff uh, to make it seem like you're playing the original. So let's exit out of this one. Or let's just load, let me show you the, the one I like. I guess it must have crashed there. Let me show you the one I like. And this is, it blows me away, being a 90s kid. Love it. Um, other versions, version two. And this did seem to work on the regular Genesis Plus GX Core. It's 31 megabytes. I think 32 might be the limit for that. I'm not sure. So please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to go to that one. I mean, some of these are like 80 megabyte files. Let's see if I can expand that a little bit. All right. We'll go into Swords and Spells. This is, in my opinion, the best set of games that are in here that I've, I've found so far. I was just playing Gunstar Heroes. But I do love some Golden Axe. Oh, man. And this will load a little faster. It does actually have um, in some of those. What am I trying to say? And some of the other ones, uh, the packs or ROMs or whatever, it will actually emulate like how slow it took to originally load it. But this is a faster version. Look at that. Is that awesome or what? And it's like. It's just amazing to me that that someone can do this. And maybe I'm just more blown away than, than other people are with this stuff. You hit H for reset, and you can start this. Uh, it's technically a ROM over again. So if you want to set up a broadcast or, or a um, online service that rotates every month, there is a way to do that. So let's go ahead here. No, let's the other one. Let me not that one. Let's go ahead here to our folder that I put together for you. And I am going to go into SC Revival there. Let me copy this guy out of here. Um, I want to copy him. I'm going to place him there. This is the Sega Channel Revival pack bat file and that will automatically run everything for you what we're gonna do is let me open this one up we're back in the retro arch folder okay we're gonna take this whole thing here and move it in to retro arch okay so there it is sc revival what this does is it reads the time on your computer, whatever your time's set to. Right now I'm doing this in August, and it will run this bat file and play the corresponding menu and set of games. So every MD file here, that's actually technically a ROM. You can see how big they are over here. And the bat file will tell it which one to run depending on the clock on your computer. So hopefully this works on the first try because I had some trouble with it earlier. So here it is on my desktop, and I should be able to just run this. Boom. Look at that. And it has a different animation there. I love that animation. That, that, blah, 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 that animation. So this is his menu for August. Brain Benders, um, the locker room. Okay, so these are all sports games. It's kind of cool. Then he has the test drives. I don't know if he's using actual demos because they seemed like full games to me when this used to be the demo area that developers would put out their demos in. 
But anyway, with that setup, you can now just have this bat file on your computer, right? And you can just leave this up here, get rid of this wherever you want to put that, probably delete it, and I'll have a media fire link for this set that I've put together. And you can just run that, and it'll give you the corresponding month. And it's August 31st, so tomorrow I'll run it, and it'll do September's uh, menu and set of games. So that is how you emulate the Sega channel in 2025. I hope you guys find this uh, this video useful. I did it more laid back with a, not a lot of editing. Just wanted to kind of get this out there for people that are big fans of Sega and the Sega channel. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.